Good morning. Yes, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> I just kind of rolled out the bed this morning, put on a um, brawl, and start wrapping some Christmas presents. I'm getting ready to watch It's a Wonderful Life, like the old school one, and waiting on the boys to get home. So hopefully they should be home in the next 5, 10, 15 minutes at the most. So just wanted to pop in real quick and say hi. It is December 16th. I'm actually getting ready to post my Vlogmas Day 16. 15 because I didn't got did not get posted last night. Oh, if you if you've watched it, um, you know I went to the grocery store and spent a heck ton of money and then um I just was tired. So I was sitting down on the couch and I watched some of the Legacy of Mon Monsters, the Monarchs or something. It's on Apple TV. Watched it. A couple of episodes episodes and then I went to bed. So um that is all for this morning. So I wrapped some presents. I just wanted, I haven't even, like, they're just, like, sitting beside the tree. I haven't even, like, wrapped them, wrapped them yet. So, or, I mean, I wrapped them. I haven't put them underneath the tree pretty, you know. And then I've got a couple boxes ready to wrap with initials on it just so I know who's is who's. And they're taped shut so nobody can peek. Because <laughs> they're not wrapped yet. So I still have a lot to do, but I'm getting tired. And after the boys get home, I'm probably going to take a nap. So I'm going to watch this movie there for right now and go from there. Hi guys, so it is Sunday, December 17th, yeah, and it's 2005, I'm on my way to a Christmas party, so sorry, I have not been on any this weekend really much at all, except for yesterday morning for a little bit, just kind of, I mean, didn't have necessarily a busy day, just kind of had a lazy day, <laughs> like, after the kids got home yesterday, I laid down on the couch and I was watching, um, if anybody likes old movies, especially old musicals, I was watching the movie Seven Brides for Seven Butt Brothers. It it's on prom. I don't think it's, I think you had to rent it, but still. It was worth it to me. It's one of my favorite movies. But I fell asleep during it, so I didn't get to finish it. And then I woke up and um, did a few things, I think, around the house. I'm trying to remember now what I even did. But got up and then we went, me and the boys went to church last night. We have a Spanish speaking service every other Saturday. So we went to that last night. And then after that, I took the boys to Dollar Tree because Parker needed to get his gifts for everybody. He, where he's in middle school, he doesn't have like the Santa's workshops anymore. So I just took him to Dollar Tree and let him shop. And me and Keena kind of like... just, I mean, I bought some other stuff and kind of just hung out around the Dollar Tree, you know. Not really. I, like, I didn't pay attention to what he got. And then when he went to, ch when we went to check out, I told the lady, I was like, check out all of his stuff first and put it in back separate and then I'll put, you know, and then put, put my stuff with it. Um, I just want to make sure his stuff was in separate bags. So, that's what we did. Um, I did pick him up some gift bags for everybody because he didn't like at the school, they put them all their gifts in like brown paper bags. So I, um, I want to make sure he, Parker has something to put his gifts in. So I just got some gift bags at Dollar Tree. They didn't have a whole lot to choose from. I mean, they had, I guess they did have lots to choose from. But I was planning on hoping to find like a Christmassy like four pack or something like they used to do. I don't know if they even still do that or not. I couldn't find any, so he just got regular size gift bags for everybody. So that was ten, you know what, twelve dollars right there in gift bags. Twelve dollars and fifty cents or something. And then we came home and had dinner, and then we watched the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Um, Keenan wanted to watch it. We ended up not finishing it. He didn't go back Chris, I think. And he went upstairs. So, we didn't finish it, but we, after that, I, I like, when Keenan went upstairs, I was like, I don't really feel like watching it. And I went and worked on my puzzle for a little bit. I've been working on an old school Rudolph puzzle for, like, a week now, maybe two weeks. I'm almost finished. So, I'm hoping tonight I can get it finished when I get home, depending on what time I get home, because <laughs> Mama's tired. Thinking about Sunday afternoon nap, you know, Sundays are for naps in church. That's just what church and naps, church and naps. <laughs> so, anyhow, we um, I didn't 
you know, I haven't finished it yet. But anyhow, after church today, our garage fridge is dying a slow and steady death. <laughs> so we have gotten accustomed to it and we can afford it. So we went ahead and um, Chris wanted to go ahead and buy a new one to put out there. Especially because, could we have waited a little while? Yeah. But, um, we have that New Year's Eve get together at our house, um, with a bunch of family and there's tons of food and stuff and we really probably need the fridge for that day. So, got the fridge for that day and then, um, or went and looked for fridges. Lowe's had what we wanted but they didn't have it in stock was something you had to order and it was gonna be like two weeks two and a half weeks so I was pushing it to make sure we had it by the 30th and nothing that other one that we logged they didn't have in stock so um we went to Home Depot and they had one that will be here Friday so that's good that's good and then we stopped at the little local grocery store near our house and I picked up a few things because I'm going to a women's Christmas party right now with my church. And I may, had to make, bring like an appetizer type thing. And me and the preacher's wife last night were was talking to her house. And she said she has a film people, why people are going to bring sweets. So that's just what people make this time of year. So I had planned on making something sweet. Not some homemade, but <laughs> my box stuff I could use. But when she told me that, I thought, oh, I probably need to make something. So there's a taco dip. It's called the Touchdown Taco Dip. It's a pampered chef recipe. And it's really simple, easy to make. It's just like a, a, a can of um, refried beans laid out in like an eight by nine, or eight by 12, eight, whatever size, you know, regular casserole size dish. And then um, a block of cream cheese and a cup of sour cream with um, taco seasoning and then they call for fresh garlic i just put powdered garlic in and you mix it all up and then you spread it out on top of the beans and then you put cheese on top of that and you put it in the oven and you cook it you know until the cheese is melted or whatever so i did that and then also calls for like green onions and um, tomato and black olives with it and a lot of people don't always, not everybody likes that kind of stuff. So whenever I make this dip, and it's actually been a while since I made it, but whenever I make this dip, I always put that stuff on the side. So I caught all that stuff cut up in there and ready to go and they're in little Pyrex bowls. I'm super excited about this. It's the last church I went to. The women didn't do a whole lot. Like for like one year we did and it, we just didn't do a lot. And in this church, they haven't done a lot either, but the preacher's wife and I have talked and um, she wants to do more. And I was like, I'd really like to do more too. So we're going to start um, working on that hopefully in the coming year. They've had one other thing like get together that I know of since I started going to church there a year and a half ago. And I was out of town, so I didn't get to go or I would have went to it. We're just doing like a little Christmas party with appetizers or desserts, and then you have to bring a um, thing of uh, like a wrapped Christmas socks to exchange, and then also um, I'm bringing a game. It's you know, I had put 12 things in the stocking, and they have to fill and see what they think each thing is. <laughs> and I really probably made it a little tough one. And Chris was like, Tiffany, I might make it a little bit easier. <laughs> but I put like a toy dinosaur uh, mint. So, I mean, that should be easy enough. It's like one of the round mints with the circle in the middle. In the middle. And then a pocket knife. We put a shotgun shell. <laughs> we put oh, what else? Baby Jesus in there from one of the um, nativity scenes, like the little people nativity scenes. I put a icicle, not icicle. I'm sorry, snowflake ornament in there. Um, a bottle of perfume, 
a thing of chapstick. Oh, a Lego and a mini figurine from Lego. <laughs> so, I'm just going to have to tell him, be like, listen, the boys helped me. So, <laughs> think like a little boy. But he, yeah, he was like, you're making this too hard, Tiffany. Nobody's going to figure out this stuff. <laughs> so, I made it a little bit easier. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, and then I got these earrings. Aren't they cute? Look. Got them off Amazon. I ordered them and got what I thought was these earlier this week. Like, maybe Thursday? Yeah, I think Thursday, actually. Opened the package and I was so excited, you know. And, you know, it was these earrings. But instead of a smelly face, it was like a dog paw. Which is great and all, but I don't have a dog. And I wanted my smelly face earrings. So, I messaged, you know, I went on Amazon and returned him and asked me why. I said, because he sent me the wrong thing. And I totally did not expect to get these this soon. I thought I'd be later this week, but I got them today. Um, they're super cute. They are very heavy, though, so I don't know how long I'm going to tolerate them. <laughs> but I guess once a year for a couple days will be fine. I'll wear them to work this week and um, over the weekend. Like, you know, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and whatnot. So, yeah, they're heavy. And I don't even, they don't even match what I have on because I have like a pink Christmas shirt on. I have no red on me whatsoever. Like, the only red on me other than the earrings is my hair. And if you guys haven't noticed, my hair has lightened up a lot over the last two years. Like, it has really lightened up a lot. I don't, I mean, it is what it is. And I guess I could always dye it. But I don't want to die. I mean, it just is what it is. Got to deal with it, right? I'm almost there, so I'm going to get off here. Um, I'm not going to probably be back on tonight unless I show you guys my puzzle. If I get my puzzle finished. But Oh, that was the other thing. I don't know if I told you guys or not. Or not but I've been working on a puzzle for the last week and a half. And it's a um, off the red nose reindeer puzzle almost done almost done with it so if i if i get it finished tonight i will um show it to you if not i'll show it to you guys tomorrow but if you haven't already make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is lit up and highlighted so that way you get notified when we when i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a great day whenever you're watching this Merry Christmas and just know that I love you and God loves you. Mwah. Good morning guys. So it is December 19th, right? Mm -hmm. December 19th is the boys last day of school. We've got Keenan back there and Parker's over well, here. Not last front. day, it's just last, well, last day, day until of break. Right, uh, until of Christmas. Until after Christmas. Yeah. So. Merry and they're, <laughs> they're mad they gotta go to school day because we actually had snow last night. But if you guys could see our surroundings right now it doesn't look like it's snowed at all <laughs> it looks like it on our deck doesn't it yeah. the deck is still covered in snow but the ground and stuff isn't so because they've sprayed like two hundred thousand pounds of salt per square inch no i think it's because we live in a chemical valley and there's like a cloud of chemicals around us that, what yeah this is the chemical valley when i, I grew up grandparents were growing up like Mama Teresa and especially Papa Paul since he lived in Dunbar um carbide which was a big chemical plant is an um was right outside Dunbar so like all around like the Charleston area it's called the chemical valley because uh, there's several chemical plants because there's a couple in Charleston too <laughs> but um I feel like we have a cloud of chemicals around us that keep all the snow away from us and then plus we're a lower elevation <laughs> excuse me so yeah, today's the boys' last day of school, and then it's Christmas break. They're excited, I think. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looks like they sleep in tomorrow. And they get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm excited to not have a bed done. Yeah, you don't have to well, go to bed at a certain time. You will end up getting early until your body adjusts on the day before we go back to sleeping in. 
<laughs> the day before you guys go back to school. I don't, in two weeks. I don't know. Do you guys go back the second or the third? The third. The third. Uh -huh. So the first, the mommy's off. So we can all sleep then. I may sleep upstairs with you guys so Chris will let me sleep in. No. <laughs> no, Chris goes upstairs and basically hacks his lungs out. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yes. He uses our bathroom when he does yours. He likes your girl's bathroom. It's just, they're both the same. <laughs> the upstairs bathroom is the boys' bathroom. Yes. Because <laughs> most of the time we're upstairs he and that's where bag, hungry. He has a big bag of tools out there. No, no even. A big pack of tools. Yeah. Probably because the oh, fan he probably is left them up there after when he was working on the fan. Yeah, because the fan, fan is broken like, twenty four seven. It was since he well, maybe y'all, you know, y'all should just tell him to put them away. Since he's always telling y'all to put your stuff away, tell him he needs to put his tools away. He ain't gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna start yapping again. So, but anyhow, I did not record anything at all yesterday for you guys. I just didn't, I didn't even think about it. Completely forgot. It was freezing on my way home and I had to stop and get gas. So I didn't think about it on my way home. And on the way to school yesterday, I think this Parker and I were talking. I don't know. Yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> and then um, last night came home and I cleaned some floors, cleaned litter boxes. I need to get these boys to start doing that. No. No. Since they're, they're cats. They're the ones I wanted them. And then I also um, I took out trash. What else did I do last night? Um, oh, I finished my puzzle finally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I finished my puzzle, so I need to show you guys that. It's super cute. It's Rudolph. Old school oh, Rudolph. Also, I can't believe she thinks the bed she sleeps in is hers. It's obviously cookies. <laughs> it's my bed. It's cookies. It's my Chris bed. It. It's Chris. cookies. Chris is on the couch. He doesn't sleep all the time on the couch. Most of the time, yes. He A lot of times he falls asleep on the couch and then he comes to bed like at 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe crisis. I wish she'd quit saying that, please, buddy. Hey, I love you. Have a good day. And don't forget to turn in your homework. I won't. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just struck off Keenan, obviously. Today they have pajama day, and he looks cute. He's got his Why NASA. Why do you wish he wouldn't say that? Because I don't like it. But he's been saying Merry Crisis <laughs> instead of Merry Christmas. Um, but he um, has on his... That's a little feller, isn't it? He's this tiny little guy. Like a kindergarten <laughs> here. But he has on his NASA pajama pants his nasa like space socks and then he has on um i would imagine some kind of space t-shirt on and then a space sweatshirt on over top of his t-shirt he loves his space stuff doesn't he yeah anything to do with space and ghost hunting so but anyway i am going to go ahead and get off here parker and i are going to get off here and i'm just going to talk to my boy a little bit on our way to school i'll talk to you guys later good morning it is the 20th of December, Wednesday morning. Let me tell you guys, I have been so messed up on what day of the week it is this week. I don't know why. Because, I mean, up until today, everything was normal, you know? So, being in that, you know, the boys went to school and stuff the last two days. I went to work. Like, I don't know why this week has just felt like the days have been off. Like, all day yesterday, I kept thinking it was Wednesday. But anyhow, it is Wednesday today. <laughs> I am headed to work. Um, the boys are home with my mom and my stepdad. I told my mom, I said, let them sleep in. So <laughs> she lets them sleep in and wake up on their own, not wake up when she thinks I need to be woke up like she did when I was growing up. <laughs> so, because they don't ever get to sleep in when they're with me because we go to church and then they're not there Friday nights to sleep in Saturday. So really the only day of the week, the only times they get to sleep in really are the weekends they're with their dad. So that is what it is. So anyway, um, they are sleeping in. Why are the cops right there when there's no school today? I guess we still gotta do the speed limit. 
the lights aren't even flashing. What's going on here? Like, there's no school today, but they're, like, and even the lights aren't flashing, but the cop was sitting up there. Like, we need to still go to school at speed limit. So, but I'm like the worst vlogger ever this week. I'm so sorry. I have been so all over the place. I feel like not vlogging. Um, like this is Wednesday and I haven't posted a vlog since what? Saturday. And that was Friday's vlog. So please excuse me and forgive me. <laughs> I, it's just, I don't know. I'm still trying to get in the swing of things. And um, it's not necessarily been a busy week, but it has been. We've had, you know, a little bit more things going on than normal. And honestly, today, I don't even feel good. Last night, I came home. Parker had therapy at 6. I'm sorry, 4.30. So, we didn't get home till about 6 because I stopped and got us dinner at Chick-fil-A. Um, and then came home. But I came home and I ate. And I went to bed. I we didn't go to sleep right away. But I went to bed. I just didn't feel good at all. So, I slept okay last night. Um, woke up about 3 o'clock this morning and my belly was gurgling. Like I was, had to use the bathroom, you know. And so, I kind of ignored it for as long as I could. And finally, about 4, and it was after 4 because Chris was already up. About 4.30, I'd say. Got up, went and used the bathroom got a shower, you know, or when it went, came back to, went, used the bathroom, came back to bed, and got up when my alarm went off at 6. Well, I had to snooze a couple of times. So, it was like closer to 6.30 when I actually got up. But, um, got a shower, you know, and all that. My belly's just not feeling good. And, I haven't had the sulfur burps yet from the semaglutide, but I'm having them. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm having them, and ugh, not tasty at all, so. But, on the plus side, my weight was down to 210.7 this morning, which is the lowest it's been in a long time, so. Not complaining there, either. I just wish my belly wasn't upset. I've been re-watching my vlogs, I'm up, and I'm up to the point to right before we went to um, Nashville. It's actually... The, or all, I shouldn't say vlogs, all of my videos. The video I'm watching right now is actually the last vlog I did before I went to Nashville with the 5-5. Five five. If any of y'all remember the 5-5. Five five. Um, Life with Favor, Favor Fenwick, um, Yvette Renee, um, Georgia Sunshine, Christy, and I cannot think of Christy's last name to save the life of me. Um, but she's Georgia Sh Sunshine and um, Southern Yankee, which is, oh my gosh, I'm having a complete brain fart. Well, I cannot not think of her name right now. Oh, my gosh. Southern Yankee, this is her page name. I cannot think of her name. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? But anyway, I'm sorry. It's like on the tip of my tongue. But those girls and I went to Nashville the, um, late, the first full weekend in September of 2019. So it was right before COVID and all that hit. We had so much fun. Fashion, you know, um, sponsored a. Um, meet and greet for us and it was just a good time it really was and um, I felt super special and just um, special <laughs> get to do that like it was a super cool experience so I'm enjoying re-watching my vlogs getting to see the boys being a little like I'm so thankful I have them you know because of the interaction with the boys you know and stuff I had in my videos back then and I'm seeing my old house you know all that so but I'm almost 
to work, so I'm gonna jump off here and just wanna check in real quick. I promise you guys this evening I will show you my puzzle one way or any other. And I'm going to post this this evening after I get home from working out because I do work out this evening. So the next time you probably see me, I'll either be on my way to work out or coming home from working out. All right. Well guys, it is 10 till 6. Thursday, Wednesday evening. I um, almost forgot to close out the vlog. <laughs> Let me show you guys my puzzle real quick. There is the puzzle I did. Isn't it cute? Let's see if I can get without a glare. I'm very proud of myself. I enjoyed it. Now I need to find another puzzle to do. All right, guys. So, yeah, the puzzle's done. It's... um. It was really fun. I'm gonna have to find another one to do now too. Um, did not go work out. I just did not feel good. Still do not feel good. So I ended up canceling, I don't know, around 12 o'clock or something. I think I messaged her and was like, I don't think I'm gonna make it today. So um, hopefully I'll feel better by Friday though. I think it's just, I don't know, it's like gas. Excuse me. And I got the sulfur burps. If any of you guys are on Smeglatide or know anything about it, we've heard about the sulfur burps and they're horrible. I have them. <laughs> so I'm going to get off here and put some um, PJs on and go ahead and probably go to bed because I just don't feel good. So, and I was up super early, didn't sleep really that good. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I don't know when I'll get another vlog miss out, but it will be before Christmas. I uh, love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.